SCP number 999. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility, should it desire to. But otherwise, it must stay in its pen between 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. for sleeping, or during emergency lockdowns for its own safety. Subject is not allowed to be out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Its pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they're not assigned to another task at that time, or if they're on break. Subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. Description SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, weighing about 120 pounds, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. The subject's size and shape is easily malleable, and it can change shape at will, though when at rest, the anomaly becomes rounded, and an oblate dome roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter tall. The surface of the anomaly consists of a thin, transparent membrane, similar to that of an animal cell, roughly a half a centimeter thick, and is highly elastic allowing SCP-999 to flatten portions of its body up to 2 centimeters thin. The surface is also hydrophobic, although 999 can willfully absorb liquids, see addendum SCP-999-A, the rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup, although it is capable of digesting organic materials with relative ease. Subject's temperament is best described as a dog, playful. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping in their arms, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all the while emitting a high-pitched gurgling and cooing noise. The surface of SCP-999 is emitting a pleasant odor that differs with whoever is interacting with it. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and Play-Doh. Simply touching SCP-999 surface causes an immediate and mild euphoria, which intensifies with the longer exposure to SCP-999, and lasts long after separation from the creature. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling. This is often done by completely enveloping the person from the neck down and, well, tickling them until they're asked to stop, though it doesn't always immediately comply with this request. Though injuries may occur, SCP-999 has never been purposely attempt to harm or hurt somebody, and will immediately back away and contrast its body into a quivering mound while gurgling in a manner to something similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest to those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. People suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have often reported having far more positive outlook on life after a few interactions with the SCP, the possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from SCP-999 slime is currently being debated. In addition to its playful behavior, the SCP seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat meat of any kind and even risking its own life to save others. On one occasion, leaping in front of a person about to take a bullet fired at them. The SCP's intellect is still up for debate, although it's seemingly infantile. It seems to understand human speech in most modern technology, including guns. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with peanut M&Ms and Necco wafers being its favorite. Its eating methods are similar to that of an amoeba. Addendum SCP-999-A This is a reminder to all staff, 
SCP-999 is not, not, to consume any caffeinated soft drinks of any kind. Last week, someone gave the SCP a can of cola along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for a half an hour, the carbonation made SCP very visibly queasy afterwards, and it refused to eat or move for the rest of the day. SCP-999 has thankfully recovered, but the staff member in question has been reprimanded. Doctor. Addendum. SCP-999-B. The following is a report of an experiment in which SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb some of the creature's homicidal rage. SCP-999 is being released into SCP-682 containment area. SCP-999 immediately slithers towards 682. 999 is cooing? 682? What is that? SCP-999 is moving in front of 682, jumping up and down in a dog-like manner while calling out in a high-pitched squealing noise. Disgusting. SCP-682 immediately steps on 999, flattening it completely. 999 observers were about to abort the experiment when 682 started talking again. Hmm? What is that? I feel... good. 999 can be seen crawling up between 682's toes, up along its side, around its neck, where it's now clinging and gently nuzzling with its pseudopod. A wide grin slowly forms on 682's face. <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> happy. 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 682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into a non-stop laughter. The laughter continues. SCP-682 rolls around on its back, slamming its tail on the floor with a dangerous force. Stop. No tickling. <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue to tickle fight until 682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with what would appear to be a smile on its face. After about 15 minutes of no activity, two D-Class personnel enter the room, retrieve 999. When 999 is removed, 682 immediately wakes up and... Well, he unleashes an unidentifiable energy wave from its body, all the while just laughing maniacally. All persons within the wave's range collapse into a crippling fit of laughter, allowing 682 to escape and slaughter everyone in its path. Meanwhile, 999 quickly rescues as many people as it can, taking them all to a safe area to recover from 682's laughter wave. Allowing agents to suppress and recontain 682. Despite the tragedy that 682 had brought upon the facility, 999 has not shown any fear towards the creature. In fact, it has made gestures that it wants to play with 682 again. 682 has, however, that feculent little can and die memo from Dr. While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I had ever seen. I never thought I would see the day when I could regard SCP-682 as cute. Send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. I would like to thank all of my lovely patrons who are listed on screen right now. Dan R, Paul Z, Cody V, Chaos X, Mr. Swiston, Official Jerboa, JY, Pyromancer, Hayden MH, Ethan A, Dark Side of the Bear, Daniel H, and Maximilian Charles P. If you want your name read off at the end of every video, 
and another Patreon exclusive dropping on the 26th or the 27th, go over to that Patreon and sign up right now. Thank you. It really does keep this channel alive.